Alright, so I took a solo trip to Washington DC and I just got here. I'm super beat, but I feel like I have to go out for at least one drink. So that's where I'm going. How it looks around where I'm staying. Um, I'm so tired, I really am. And I just want to get this drink over with and just lay down and start the day early tomorrow, I think. But yeah, this is it for now. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll do a Good morning, day two in Washington, D.C. It's like a little bit of the tour. This Airbnb is pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty clean. Um, lots of space for one person. Um. Hey, 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 hey. The other camera that I was using may have ruined this entire trip and I, would, I may have not been able to record every single thing, but that's fine. And I'm hoping I can get this camera into the Broccoli uh, City Festival because I don't know. I just honestly, I don't know. But right now I'm on my way. I should be listening to to Hillary Clinton right now. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I felt like it'd be kind of cool because this is my Washington DC recap that did not go as expected thanks to a camera that we shall not talk about, but it was still such a fun trip and today's the first night of the DNC, so I figured why not, um, you know, kind of like listen and, and do some politics right now. Put her on pause. Uh, right now I'm having the NJ Beer Co. Uh, Munder Difflin Paper Company IPA, 6.8% uh this is a pretty cool beer if you know me the office is probably one of my favorite shows ever and i figured um whenever i'm watching these things i do like to have a little drink and and kind of critique the speech cheers 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 first of all is anyone else super surprised that hillary clinton is here did she post it on her socials because i tried staying away from the internet and i just I literally only know that the AOC was talking here, so I was like, I obviously have to watch. But it's going pretty well right now. I cannot help but see that <laughs> whoever is in charge of the Harris campaign is doing some serious reverse psychology. Um, just really kind of playing at the same way that kind of like Republicans do and really kind of successfully riding off with like memes and pop culture and celebrities. This is something that Hillary Clinton tried doing with her campaign and failed miserably at. And 
I cannot help but feel like Hillary hates Harris, to be honest. I just, I feel like she was successful in a way that she wasn't in the sense of like how the campaign was, is being run. And I'm just like super impressed because it really has Democrats actually feeling really excited again. Like changes can happen, which I haven't felt this much excitement within the party since Obama first came into office. So it's really nice to see. Of course, there is so much that needs to be fixed, you know, that could be done better but i'll take a win where i can but even like the use of this like bright red and white just kind of playing off like the whole maga hat and just kind of trying to take over the or or at least like recreate or or take over what is usually trump's go-to and i think it's kind of it's just working really well even with the whole your weird thing that was going around pretty pretty it, it the thing that people don't get is that it's so simple and it sticks and it's so easy to ride off and i think again they're just really taking notes i will say the rnc was so i'm not gonna lie the when when uh what was his name hulkamania oh my god when he ripped off his shirt and he had like the tr that was like so awesome i was like damn i wish like i wish we could get that you know like we we don't have anyone that cool like doing that you know i mean it's still early you know surprises can happen but so far dnc's on fire tonight i think hillary clinton is like the biggest surprise to me and they're all saying the same mumbo jumbo you know what i mean it's it's kind of just like a waiting game and seeing what will happen but yeah that's what i'm doing tonight <laughs> i just want to check in and and say hi and, and talk about this for a little bit and it just goes hand in hand with like washington dc because i did go visit oh i didn't i didn't visit the white house i was so devastated i didn't have time i don't know i felt very cool though visiting like the lincoln memorial and that thing okay this video is gonna have to end because i actually didn't realize that i have no little to no space on my camera so it just keeps shutting off <laughs> but yeah that was my trip to washington dc you know the presidential campaign i think is at least 78 days away 78 or 72 definitely in the 70s and it it also just reminded me that it's august 19th when i'm recording this why is time flying why it's like when did when did august even begin now it's just gonna be crazy like september and october you're just gonna the holidays kick in the president uh, presidential election is coming and everyone's just gonna be like this year is gonna be one for the books, okay? I don't know what to expect, but when I say the turn of events of like Joe Biden finally fucking stepping down has just been a fever dream. Like this has just been such an interesting thing to follow just in general, like especially being able to look back at this in a couple years. I'm just reminiscing on this solo trip to um, Washington DC and like, how it ties into like my love for politics and my love of traveling and it was just like something i really wanted to do for myself let me put her on hold um and yeah it, like my advice i guess for this video is if you can treat yourself please do um i really didn't have the money or I wasn't really in the best mindset, but I took myself out anyway, and it felt really nice. It was so, so, so needed just to be comfortable with myself and just treat myself um, eating well, drinking well, like walking and just doing little nerdy things that I like to do. Have the opportunity, certainly you should go travel, go enjoy yourself. Um, doesn't have to be Washington DC, but if you could find ways to tie you're traveling into other things that you love, it makes it even that much better. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget, subscribe, like, comment, take yourself out, take yourself out, take yourself out, even if it's just a little date. It doesn't have to be a weekend trip. Oh, wow, they're really giving her a standing ovation. I hope to see you again this week. I am so close to catching up. I think I have like, two or three more videos and i'll be caught up so i could start uh moving on with new and improved content hopefully more collaboration and hopefully more consistency but till then i'll see you brother